Hi ladies, so today's video is going to be a little mini haul. These are things that I've picked up from the store recently um, to give you kind of an idea of some upcoming videos. I'm going to be doing some reviews on them. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing I guess I'll start off with skincare. Um, it's the Benefit It's Potent Eye Cream. I've already done a review on this, but I've liked it so much. This is my second bottle. It is fabulous. <clears throat> Not so much if you have dark. It says it's a brightening eye cream to fade dark circles. It is fabulous if you don't have dark circles and just have puffy eyes. I don't really notice it helping out with my dark circles. I notice it helping like depuffing. Um, but it's the only thing that I have tried out of the gazillion high end, low end, whatever eye creams that actually have results. So if you have puffy eyes, I would definitely recommend this. Out of all the high end makeup, this is definitely one of the cheapest. That's what attracted to me to it at first. Um, was the fact that it was the cheap, I think it's like $22 or something like that. I'll put the prices below, but it really, really works. I really, really like that. The next thing is um, the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, Makeup Setting Spray. Jacqueline Hill here on YouTube has been raving about it, says it works. I have used the regular one. Uh, what is the regular one called? Um, just the D-Slick makeup spray. And it does okay. It's an oil control. Now that my skin is changing to dry, I don't need this anymore. It definitely does do a good job with the oil, with the de-slicking or oil control. Um, but I'm looking for something that actually makes my makeup stay and not um, mattifying because obviously I have dry skin now. So I will be checking that out and letting you guys know what I think about that. And at least the difference between these two, does this really work? I didn't really notice that my makeup stayed longer. It did help with the mattifying when I, um, when I did have oily skin, but I definitely am excited about the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. The next thing is the Jergens um, BB Body Perfecting Skin Cream. It says it has five beautifying benefits and one moisturizer for a flawless appearance. I am attracted to this because obviously it's summertime. Everybody has, you know, I have skin issues on my face and body just like everybody else. So I was um, going to try this and I will do a review to let you know if it does work and try to do it before and after so you could see if it picks anything up on camera. I don't know if it will. The next thing is nail products. Um, I picked up this Orly Bonder at Ulta. It says it's a rubberized base coat for lasting adhesion. I've actually tried it on my nails right now and um, I'll let you know if it works or not. It says that it helps, it's supposed to help, um, you apply it as a base coat and it helps the nail color stick for a longer uh, manicure. So we'll see how that works. Another thing that I picked up was the original Nail Envy um, Nail Strengthener. I, about a month ago, took off my artificial nails. I had them on for like three months. I go through phases. And I decided to pick this up because I've seen it all on Pinterest and um, everybody raves about it. So I decided to go ahead and try it and see if it actually does work. So stay tuned for that. And I've been doing like before and after photos and everything. Um, the next thing is the Sally Hansen Nails, Grow Nails Now. Um, I've done a before and after. It says that it grows nails in five to seven days. I actually just give you a little sneak peek. It actually does work. Um, it did a pretty good job of, I mean, it's not crazy nail growth. I mean, they're not over my finger. They're a little bit over my fingers right now, but it actually, I think it does work and it's really easy to apply. And it's one of those things that's like, okay, it might be just my body naturally producing things to make my nails grow. But, um, for whatever reason, it seemed to grow faster with that one. Um, I picked up these two nail polishes at Ulta. They were having the Revlon um, buy one, get one free. This is the Revlon Color Stay Gel Envy. They're very, very fun. I actually did my toes in this color, and then I did my nails in this color. It's just a very hot, pinky, summery look. This is more of a corally pink. Very, very pretty. If you have a tan or a fake tan or whatever, this will make your skin look absolutely flawless. It looks very, very pretty. This one, this corally one is 130 Pocket Aces, and this pinky one is Hot Hand. So the only thing I don't like about these things, because I'm not going to really do a review on them, um, when I was putting them on, they go on thicker than like normal nail polishes. They dried okay, but just looking at them, they do have that gel look, like gel nails seem to look thicker to me. So it does have like a thicker formula than like an average nail polish, but I'll let you know, maybe I will do a review and let you know if they, um, it says it's a long wear nail enamel and it has color and base. So I'll do a review and let you know if it stays, how long it actually stays. I just put the regular Essie, um, 
SE, you know, top coat on it, so it wasn't even like a special top coat or anything like that. Along the same lines, and I will be doing a, a review on this, it's the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. Um, this is the Miracle Gel top coat, and this is the Miracle Gel color. I actually saw it in an cap on at Walmart. If you look in like their non-normal section, and you like go through and kind of look at, at each aisle, you can find some like things that you don't normally see. I have never seen these Miracle Gels like Target. I've never seen them at Target. I've never seen them anywhere else. I could just be completely blind. Um, but I did pick them up from Walmart. They are $7.99, I think, which is a little bit more expensive than, you know, well, I guess that's cheaper than Essie. So um, I will be doing a review on these and let you know whether or not they actually do last. So stay tuned for that. Next thing is eyeshadow. Walmart was having like a sale on the Milani eyeshadow or a clearance. So I picked up three different Milani eyeshadows. This one, they're all like this sparkly, um, sparkly eyeshadows. This one is in blackout and it's kind of a grayish, um, kind of charcoal uh, color with the silver sparkles. The next one is more of a taupe color with the gold sparkles. And this one is an Antigua. Antigua. And this one is more bronzy. This is like a bronze with the gold sparkles. This is bronze doll. They're just really, really pretty, and they were two bucks each. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get it. I've never tried the Milani eyeshadow, so I don't know if they really are good. But it was just fabulous colors. The next thing is Wet and Wild. Um, these were super, super cute. They're little. This one is a uh, sparkly purple color, and it is called. I have no idea. Oh. It's on the top. Binge. This one's binge and this one's brass. And they're just really, really pretty, um, sparkly, I don't know, just fun going out colors. I don't know how much it sparkles when it puts it on your eyes, but they were just really, really pretty. The next thing was two mascaras that I picked up, and I'm actually going to be doing a review on this one next. This is the Essent I Love Extreme Volume Mascara. It is super, super cheap. I, you can't, I don't, I've never seen them at a drugstore, but I did pick it up at Ultra. I will put the price down below, but it's super, super cheap. That is what I'm wearing today, and it just kind of, what, the camera washes me out. But it does give you super volumized lashes, so stay tuned for a review for that, like a before and after. And another one I picked up was the Hard Candy Ginormous Lash 2000 percent thicker lashes um, volumizing mascara it looks like this um, I just was intrigued by it hard candy is not a brand that I usually buy um, but I figured that I don't know I'd give it a try because I'm trying to try all the mascaras to see which one I like because I like that false eyelashes look without wearing false eyelashes the last thing that I picked up is actually what I'm wearing on my lips today it is the Stella um, Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. This is in Karina. Looks like this. Their packaging is kind of reminds me of like San Francisco. I guess this is from Los Angeles. But it's like that carbo carbo uh, carb cardboard packaging. It's not like snazzy or anything like that, but it just reminds me of like recycled paper or something. Just reminds me of San Francisco. I don't know. Um, but this is the color. This is the color on my lips. It is a fabulous coral color. It's very, very summery. Um, here in Florida, I could probably get, you know, who cares? You know, spring, summer, fall, doesn't matter. I mean, here in Florida, I can wear whatever color whenever I want because it's just tropical or whatever. But this is a great summer color, um, just a corally color. And it does actually stay. I've worn it, well, I've just been wearing it tonight, but I bought another one and I returned it because the color was like gothy and super, super dark and dramatic. I don't even remember what color it was, but it actually did stay all day. So, um, and it didn't like go, you know, it didn't start breaking up here or anything like that. And towards the end of the day when it started kind of fading, I just put a lip gloss over it and extended it. Um, so that was great. But this is, I think they're 22 bucks, but it's very matte. They're matte finishes, um, but they do last a very, very long time. So that is my mini haul. Nothing very, very exciting, but um, some upcoming videos that you guys can stay tuned for. Um, but I think that's it. Until next time, bye.